Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use an HDRI to create some realistic reflections in Maya 2017. So as you can see here I've got some spheres and this one has got the, um, you can see the HDRI reflection in this one. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to click on File, New Scene and know what I want to save that. So uh, first of all I'm just going to create a plane. So I'm going to go to Polygons and create a plane and then I'm just going to scale that up like that and then I'm going to create a sphere as well let's just zoom in there a bit move it up and uh, then on the sphere properties if I go to polysphere 1 I'm just going to increase the amount of subdivisions so let's just up it to about 50 so we've got something smooth to work with and um, basically an HDRI is a 360 degree high dynamic range photo that you can use as lighting to actually be the light source in your scene or you can use it as a reflection map um, or you can use it as both. So in this tutorial, we're just going to focus on the reflection. So there are a lot of websites where you can download free HDRI maps. I will link some below. Um, the one I usually use is hdrmaps.com and they actually have quite a few free ones. As you can see, all of these are free. You just need to create a free account and log in and then you can download them. So back in Maya, I'm just going to create a light. So I'm going to go to my Arnold tab because I'm going to use the Arnold renderer. And then I'm just going to create a normal area light and uh, let's just move it up, move it to the side, uh, maybe just on an angle. Just going to move out slightly. And I'm just going to rotate the light something like that, maybe scale it up as well. And uh, if we do a quick render now, you will see we have a very dark scene. So I'm just going to up the intensity or the exposure actually of that light. I'm just going to up the exposure to around 5. So you can see we've got the sphere, we've got the um, plane there as well. So I'm going to close this down. And then I'm going to open the hypershade to create some materials. And I'm going to go down to Arnold and then shader, then surface. And then I'm going to click on AI standard. And the first one is just going to be for the floor. So I'm just going to call this one floor. And uh, then I'm just going to assign that to the plane. So I'm just going to middle click and drag to the floor. And uh, then I'm going to go back to surface. Let's just clean our view space here. So I'm going to click on this little icon there. Um, and I'm going to create a AI standard material again and this is going to be the chrome or the reflective material that we're going to apply to the sphere. So let's just call this reflect and um, then I'm going to go down here to specular and I'm just going to up the weight to around 1 and uh, then I'm going to bring down the roughness so it's nice and shiny and uh, then I'm going to bring down the weight of the diffuse color as well. So we've got something that's pretty nice and shiny. So that material, I'm just going to middle click and drag that to the sphere. And now if we do a render, you will see that we've got a nice and shiny sphere. So you can see the reflection of the light source actually in that sphere. So now we're going to create something to add our HDRI to. So basically under the Arnold tab, we're going to click on this icon, which is the sky dome light. And that's just a very big sphere. So if I zoom out here, you'll see there's a very big sphere around our scene. So let's just zoom back in there. And um, now with that sky dome selected, we're going to go to the color attribute and I'm going to click on the little checker box next to that. And um, because we don't want to just use a normal color, we want to use a picture or a picture file, HDRI file. So then I'm going to click on file and then click on the little browse icon, the yellow file. And uh, then I'm just going to browse to that folder and you'll see that I've got an EXR file here. So I'm just going to click on the EXR file. This is how the image looks like. It's a 360 degree high dynamic range photo. I'm going to click on open and that's basically going to be applied to that sphere. So if I zoom out here again, you'll see that we have that 360 photo all around our scene. All right, so I'm going to zoom back in here and um, then with our sky dome selected, or you can just select it here in the outline on the side, uh, you can actually change some settings here. And by default, it's set to emit diffuse and emit the specular. So the specular will be your reflection and the diffuse will actually be a light source. So I'm going to disable that. I only want to use it for reflections. So let's do a quick render again. Right, as you can see, we've got some nice reflection in there. What I want to do, I want to disable this reflection of the light source. So I'm going to go to my area light and uh, then I'm going to disable the emit specular on my area light. Um, let's just zoom in here a little bit more and uh, let's do another render. So as you can see there we've got the HDRI reflection and if I now go to my uh, Sky Dome properties and I click on the file properties you can go in here and you can change some of the exposure settings 
on that actual file, we can do some color offsets and color gains. Or if I just go to the um, sky dome light shape, here you can change the intensity. So I can up the intensity and you'll see that the reflection will get brighter, uh, even up the exposure. You can see it's very bright now. So you can play around with these settings to get a nice um, realistic reflection. And that's basically how easy it is to add a HDRI to your scene to get some realistic reflections. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And remember, I upload new tutorials on a weekly basis. So if you're interested in visual effects or 3D tutorials, click on that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers, bye.